What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to cross process in Darktable. And this is the image that we're going to work with today. Let me show you guys how the image will turn out after we're done with it. Here you go. So I already made a snapshot of my previous edit just to show you guys what we're going to do. So this will be the end result. Let me deselect the snapshot and let me start at this point. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the exposure module. If you don't see the modules that I'm using over here, please go to more modules and then you can find them in the list down below. It has to do with the fact that I always use my favorites menu and that's where I place the modules that I'm going to use. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a drawn mask and in this case a gradient mask. And the reason why is because I want to darken the sky and I want to darken the bottom a little bit to put the emphasis on the middle part of the image so let me just click inside the image and then decrease the exposure a little bit like so you can decrease the exposure by clicking on this line right here you can drag this to the left to make it more dark you can drag it to the right to make it more light and what you can do as well is you can hit the right mouse button and then fill it in by hand so i'm going to fill in minus 0.5 to darken it a little bit and this is how it looks now let me drag this point downwards and let's see what happens i think i'm going to place it like so now the sky is a bit more dark i think i'm going to darken it even more let's see how it looks with minus one that looks fairly all right let me pull this up a little bit so that the kite doesn't become as dark you can always decrease or increase the feathering by putting your mouse on this point and then scroll the mouse wheel button away from you to decrease the mask size or the feather size and then pull it towards you to increase the feathering. And now I want to add a second one. You don't need to add another exposure module. What you can do is you can hit the control and then hit the gradient mask again and then click inside the image like so. I'm going to line these up a little bit like so and the thing is that the gray dot will show you where the mask is at and the light gray point will show you where it's not so i'm going to turn this one around because i want to darken the bottom a little bit and i want to put the emphasis on the middle part of the image like so let me pull it up a little bit there you go so i'm going to close down the exposure module and we're going to move on to the next one which is the color zones module and reason being is because i want to change the color of the sky and i want to change the color of the water a little bit into a more green like look first i have to decide where this color is at in the color zones panel so i'm going to use the color picker I'm going to place it inside the sky and now it tells me it's over here. What I usually do is I just move this around a little bit just to see how much of a differentiation it has. But it seems like it's staying over here so that's alright. I want to decrease the circle so I'm going to scroll the mouse wheel button away from me. You can scroll it towards you to decrease it and then more items will be affected with your changes. But like I said I'm going to decrease it. And I want to change the hue. I don't want to change the saturation. So I'm going to the U menu. And this is where it's at. So let me check and see where the water is. It's about at the same area. Let me see over here. There you go. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to focus on these two points over here. And drag them down into the green. So I'm going to slide this one closer like so. I'm going to pull it down into the green. I'm going to pull the second point down into the green as well. And now watch what happens to the image. There you go. Now let's see where this color is at right now. It's over there. So I'm going to slide this to the right a little bit. Just to make sure that everything that I want to affect is being affected right now. There you go. And I want to change the saturation of this kite. So I'm going to put the color picker on the kite. And then it shows me where it's at. It's over here. But I don't want to change the U. I want to change the saturation. So I'm going to click the saturation. It shows me that the saturation or the color is over here. Let me see where this part is. Because it's a little bit more bright. 
it's in the same area which is great so i'm going to move this slider on top of this line then i'm going to pull it up and watch what happens to the saturation now the saturation is being increased please keep in mind that if you use this technique you should use a mask for the simple reason because if you've got several yellow objects in your image all of the objects the saturation will be lifted by using this technique the kite was the only yellow object in my image so that's why i chose not to use a mask so please keep that in mind let's continue so now that this is done i'm going to close the color zones module and i want to put some emphasis on the kite surfer and his kite so i need another exposure module so let's just hit new instance and now we've got a second exposure module and we need a mask so i'm going to go to blend drawn mask hit the ellipse and then click on the kite surfer going to increase its size and if you want to change the angle what you can do is hit control select one of these points and then just move it like so i'm going to increase it a little bit more there you go i want to add a second one so i'm going to hit control hit this ellipse mask again and i'm going to click on the kite and now i'm going to change the angle again hitting control and I'm going to change its size a little bit. There you go. Now let's just add 0.2 as an exposure. There's a huge difference. You can see the halo around this. So we are going to counteract that by increasing the mask blur. So let's just increase it by 40. It's just a test. Let's see what happens. And that looks a lot better. So let me close down the exposure module. And now let's take a snapshot. Let's select the snapshot and let's select the original. And this is the original image without any cross processing added to it. Now let me drag this line to the side and show you guys how this image has turned out after doing some cross processing. And there you go, that looks a lot more cinematic and I absolutely love how this looks. And that's it, I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you've got suggestions for tutorials, I'd love to hear them as well. If you've got photos for me to edit, please send them to the email in the description down below as well. And I guess there's just one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei!